Backing up your data, including your photos, is a must as far as I'm concerned. But are you doing it right? Well, check out my common data backup mistakes to make sure you are not making any of them. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that bell to be notified every time I release a new video. Backing up your photos and let's say all of your data is a must now in our data hungry world. But when your computer breaks down or you lose your phone, it is not the time to find out that it wasn't backing up properly. It is time for a backup audit to make sure that you are backing up properly and not making any of these seven common backup mistakes before it's too late. Having only one backup. You can be the most obsessive of backup performers, but if you have just one copy, you are not protected at all. If that copy goes bye-bye, you are back to square one. The best option is to have three copies of all of your data that you regularly update to keep you safe from the unknown or even the known. Only backing up on the cloud. The cloud is a great option for your backups because it means that you can access all of your stuff across multiple devices, you can share stuff easily, and most of the services will back up to the cloud without you having to tell it. However, it is not 100% infallible. It could still get hacked or they could just decide to block your data. So you need to have two types of media for your backup say the cloud, and then a hard drive or your computer, so you are spreading your risk. Having all your physical backups in the same place. This is so simple to happen. You have your cloud copy, tick, but then you have the other two copies on your computer and a hard drive. And the hard drive is in the drawer in the desk where your computer is. How convenient! but not so safe if the worst happens, like a flood or fire. Both copies are in the same place. What you need is another copy in another location, or off-site, as they say. You could do a backup swap with your family. You just need to get it back every so often so you can keep it up to date. Forgetting about all of your devices. We have so many devices nowadays and we have content scattered across all of them. But computers is usually the first thing we think about when we're backing up our stuff. But what about our phone? What is going on there? And then there is the all too often forgotten iPad and tablet. That, okay, never leaves the house, but still needs to be backed up with all those precious files and photos on them. So make sure you are including everything in your backup planning. Too many devices syncing to one account. If you're using cloud storage as one of your backup options, as we already know, it should be just one, don't we? Well, if you have more than one device syncing to the same account, you can end up overriding the files from another device, especially if you use offline cameras. So two files can have exactly the same name, but be very different. So make sure that all of your files and photos have unique names and also check to see what is going into the cloud from each location and make sure you are not double counting cause that will cause even more problems. Not checking it is actually working. So you have finally set up your backup process and you're doing a little happy dance and decide to forget all about the trauma you've just gone through to get it set up. Well, maybe not. You need to regularly check to make sure that your backup is firstly actually backing up, but also is it backing up the right stuff? And lastly, could you restore a file if needed? I check mine by creating a test file, make sure it heads up to the backup, delete it, and then see if I can restore it. It is better to be safe and sure than sobbing in a corner in despair. Not having a backup schedule. 
It is all well and good having a backup strategy, but not all options are automatic like the cloud. So you need to remind yourself to do it, as believe me, life will get in the way. Put a reminder somewhere, anywhere that would work for you, on your phone, on your online calendar, even your old school paper calendar on the wall. Do whatever works for you, just remember to do it. Is that too much information? Well, just think of it like this. You need three copies of your data over two formats with one off-site. Simple, right? So now you know the seven common backup mistakes, you can avoid them and keep your data safely backed up. What other tips and tricks do you use to keep your data backed up? Leave them in the comments below. As I am all about the photo storage, are you confused about which is the best cloud storage for your photos? Then check out my nifty tool to find the best cloud storage for your photos that can be accessed through the link below. So click through and check it out. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. And don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.